So uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is um, creating um, a site um, from a backup on, um, I'm going to create a site on Cloudflare Pages. Um, the reason that you might want to do that is Cloudflare Pages is um, a way for you to keep control of your um, domain, or Cloudflare is a way for you to keep control of your domain and um, to control the DNS for your domain. Um, but they also offer um, free um, pages, uh, limited um, free pages, but um, probably good enough um, to um, host um, a pamphlet site. So if you have a pamphlet site just to be on, on the internet and your uh, ISP can no longer host that for you, then um, Cloudflare Pages might be a good alternative for you to take uh, control of that site yourself and to post it your, uh, yourself without um, needing an ISP. So um, <clears throat> basically what I've done then is I've gone into uh, my Cloudflare account on the dashboard. I clicked on Pages. That's how I got here. And um, I'm going to be creating um, a Pages site for my uh, portfolio. So this is um, a site that I used to get um, teaching contracts before I became um, a full um, professor at Conestoga College. So we're going to be getting this site. I've already made an archive of it here on my desktop. I'm going to show you how to make an archive of your site um, in a minute, but uh, I want to start with the with the big idea first. So I'm going to show you how to um, get this archive up onto pages. Then if you um, still need to make an archive of your site, we'll, we'll go over that together in a, in a minute. So on pages, and create a project. You know, step, skip, connecting to get, although it would be a good idea because it gives me um, version control. Um, instead, I'm going to go here to direct upload. I'm going to click upload assets. And I'm going to pick Rich Portfolio as the project name. And I'll click Create Project. And now I've got a place to drag my zip. So I put it on the archive on the desktop. That's just about it. Now um, you might get a warning here. Um, it, it's, it's just a warning that your um, your zip file is pretty big. Uh, I didn't because my um, my little uh, portfolio is pretty it's pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to click deploy site, and uh, it's literally that quick. So now that site is up on the internet. I can just click here. Nope. the heck hmm. I guess I was just too quick quick on the draw anyways that was what I was expecting to see so it looks like you might have to click it twice or do a refresh Okay, <clears throat> so um, here it is, rich-portfolio-pages.dev. Here it is on um, github.io. And here's another copy on um, rich-portfolio.pages.dev. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is back here, I'm going to click on um, continue to project, or um, I can go, yeah, this is the best. And then I'm going to click, it says Rich Portfolio here. I'm going to do Custom Domains. I'm going to do Set Up a Custom Domain. And um, I have a domain in my account called PetLady.ca. I'm going to click Continue. I'm going to click Activate Domain. And again, this is going to take a few um, seconds, maybe maybe a minute even. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to show you how to um, actually make a backup of your um, site. So I've installed the tool um, Visual Studio Code. Yeah, 
Uh, and this is basically, um, for this particular ex exercise, just going to give me um, a way of um, <clears throat> getting a command prompt. So I use Visual Studio Code for lots of things, but in this case, I'm not using it for very much at all. Just going to make a command prompt. So I can go to Terminal, get a new terminal. OK, um, right now, um, I'm going to change to my desktop. OK, so now anything that I create is going to appear on my desktop. So I'm going to do now wget minus r. So wget is a, a command that, that's um, installed on my on my Mac. Uh, you should be able to find um, instructions for installing it on uh, on a Windows machine or or a Mac machine or on on Linux as, as well. So I'm going to do. Oops. Okay, so that's going to get my um, backup of my site. It's going to put it in a folder, and here the folder's been made on my desktop because that's the folder I was in when I when I started this. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to drag across all these to select them. Right click, and do compress. And I'm just going to take the archive and drop it on the desktop. Okay, so that's how I got the archive on my on my desktop. And uh, now if I go in here, I should be able to plus a tab and do petlady.ca. And uh, there's my portfolio um, hosted on Cloudflare. At the URL petlady.ca, which is also one of my Cloudflare, uh, my Cloudflare domains. So uh, hopefully that uh, helps. Uh, <clears throat> if you do need to uh, take control of your site back, uh, this is a, this is a good way. Um, it might not be perfect, depending on how um, complicated your site is and how much um, if if it had any backend um, f functionality. But um, for, for mine, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the one thing I noticed is that the search doesn't work, so I would need to do something um, to, fix the, to fix the search. Um, but that's a, that's, that's a job for another day. But um, the, other, the other links work. Um, it's um, fairly, uh, fairly, fairly functional. Um, certainly more functional than just um, a completely uh, broken uh, 404 uh, page or, or something like that that might be um, what you would see if you uh, <clears throat> didn't have anything at all. So like I said, hopefully this helps. Um, hopefully your uh, results are, are as good.